like to talk to you about a common uh, misdiagnosis and mistreatment for threatened miscarriages caused by uh, insufficient blood flow in the uh, uterine cavity. So a very common threatened miscarriage, which means a miscarriage that is about to happen and it's showing some symptoms but can still be saved if found early uh, and uh, receive treatment in the hospital. So uh, a lot of doctors when they face a blood insufficiency threatened miscarriage, which means there's not enough blood flow in the uh, uterus cavity, which means the fetus or the embryo is struggling to live because it's not getting enough nutrients, not getting enough uh, oxygen and all the important molecules that it needs because blood flow is obstructed. So in this case, uh, in many cases and ma many hospitals, doctors without even thinking twice, they'll just administer a very standard procedure which is heparin and aspirin. These are the two most common uh, anticoagulants that are administered for patients in this case uh, because they believe that it can solve the blood obstruction problem. On paper, it does sound uh, to be correct because uh, heparin and aspirin are anticoagulants. They will make the blood thin, which means the blood will flow faster and also uh, fill up all the cavities uh, of the organs and of the blood vessels. But in reality, uh, not only does it not stop the threatened miscarriage from progressing into a complete miscarriage, it also uh, might accelerate the miscarriage from happening. So if these patients go to hospital to seek treatment, but this treatment that they are administered actually accelerates the miscarriage. Now let me explain why. So blood insufficiency threatened miscarriages are usually about 90% are caused by organic diseases. So what do I mean by organic diseases? Diseases of the uterus such as uh, uterine malformation because of there's too much connective tissues and not enough uh, smooth muscle tissues which means there are fewer blood vessels in the area. This is a congenital uh, factor which means they are naturally born with this type of uterus and it could be their first pregnancy and this is a very core reason of why blood insufficiency happens and medication such as heparin or aspirin does nothing to stop uh, this type of uh, uterine malformation. It will only accelerate it. Furthermore, there, there could be also be presence of certain lesions, uh, fibroids or even a massive ovarian cysts that is competing blood flow with the fetus. So if you do not remove these uh, growths or tumours that is competing with the fetus, Administering heparin or aspirin will not do anything to stop the miscarriage from happening. And another important point I want to mention is that during pregnancy, uh, the mother it will be in a hypercoagulative state, a quiet hypo, hypercoagulative state, which means her blood is in a very thick state. And this is to help uh, her to uh, heal and also deal with any potential physical injury faster because uh, she is with her child and she needs to be uh, uh, much more defensive and also heal faster in case of anything that happens. So heparin and aspirin will actually reverse this state. So it will put the mother in a vulnerable state, especially when she's pregnant, which is very uh, unwise. So I hope this video can give you some awareness. Uh, when, if you know anybody who is uh, getting this type of treatment during a pregnancy, know that it will not actually uh, help if there is presence of these types of uh, growths, uh, cysts, or even if she has a uterine malformation, these medications will not stop the miscarriage from progressing into a complete one.